All right, guys, what I wanted to do right quick, since I was right here next to it, is to come over here to the, uh, the Moultrie Creek Postal and Recreation area right here. Bike rack for your bicycle riders. They also, you know, they include bike racks for you. But over here is the swimming pool area that's gonna be here for, this is the neighborhood swimming pool guys <clears throat> the adult swimming pool the neighborhood swimming pool right here it's a pretty good size well hello youtube friends and family it's frank here yet again with another glorious video guys i just wanted to pop in right quick and ask you have you subscribed to the channel yet if you haven't would you please consider doing so i would greatly appreciate it and if you would please click that like button give me a thumbs up and click the notification bell it just simply lets you know every time i post up a new video so that way you guys don't miss anything drop a comment let me know what you guys think i appreciate you if you stay tuned we're gonna catch you in another video it's almost a bean shaped pool go in and take a look it's unlocked it may be already open as far as because they got people already moved in but here's gonna be the swimming pool area very nice pavers as you know it's pretty typical of what you're gonna see in all of these neighborhood pools it's a pretty big pool I don't know if that's a standard size if you will plenty of places to lay out get you plenty of sunshine they even put in these areas right here if you need a little bit of shade so you don't roast well you're going to do that anyways in the summertime these chairs go all the way around the complex now some people may say well why do you always focus on saying it's a neighborhood adult pool and but well We're gonna walk over and see. Here's an area. Right here, it's got plenty of shade. Emergency telephone, I think. But right here, you've got restroom facilities, male, men, women. And this is what I'm referring to is the Mulchy Creek adult pool rules. Now, for those people who try to argue with me, I guess, you know, and here's, here's the rules. There's no lifeguard on duty. All participants must have resident ID or ID, guest ID, you know, plus photo and be 30 years of age or older. That's showing up on the camera very well. Yeah, all participants must have residence or guest ID plus a photo ID and be 30 years of age or older. Shower before entering pool. Do not swallow pool rules. No food or beverages in the pool or on the pool wet deck. How many times have you seen people don't follow these rules. They don't care. A lot of times it's snowbirds. I hate to say it because if they're not here full time, then they may not be aware of these things. But you know, I think most people are. If you come to use the bathrooms, you you know you can't help but not read what it says. Sure, it's our responsibility as homeowners to to read this stuff and. To see what's going on you know proper attire is required you know i don't want to see grandma on a g-string i don't suppose <laughs> no, i'm just kidding bathing load 
50 people. So you can uh, pause the video and read what the rules are in all of the adult pools. There it is. And it tells you right here. The villages provides family pools and their big rec centers for people under the age of 30 and your grandchildren and all that, thus being a family pool. They're bigger and they're more set up for families, kids, your grandkids, things like that to go and enjoy the swimming pool. Your neighborhood pool is part of the amenities that we as homeowners pay for. When you get your amenity bill, you know, from your utilities, from the district, no, your amenities fee, this is what's included. The whole neighborhood, um, the pool is for the neighborhood. It's for us villagers who own homes. These pools aren't designed or set up or not they're not put here for outsiders to come in and cheat if you will and sneak into the pools right but it happens and I'm only bringing this up because I've been seeing Facebook threads where people are talking about you know outsiders people who do not live in the villages coming over and using our amenity our amenities that we pay for that they don't and what they're doing is they might use it and then when they see community watch come out here to id people they jump into the water they're jumping into the water so that way somehow they learn where they won't get carted well i think that's a bunch of crap if you ask me if i was working the job i'm carting everybody I don't care if you're in the water or not. I want to see your ID badge. It doesn't take a second to walk up, go get your thing and show who you're, that you have a right to be here and then you get back in the water. It's just that simple. Yeah, and I'm kind of ranting. Sorry. I know it's in this pool, the gate's a little different than what you would normally see. See, and that comes back to this. Anybody can come in. A little child could almost come in. If they could reach that handle, come on, man. You know, Velociraptors could figure out how to open up doors, right? <laughs> but one thing I wish they would do is they put a locking mechanism here with your key pass scanner right here so when you scan it bleep, it opens you know it allows it to come in when it shuts i lived in a car apartment complexes that did that if you weren't a resident of the neighborhood you couldn't get in you had to have your pass it seems like to me the, the villages would have enough intelligence to do something like that that would help cut down won't eliminate it altogether, but it'll help cut down people who don't belong in neighborhood pools. Now, just because it says the village of Moultrie Creek, all villagers, regardless of your village that you live in, can come and use any other neighborhood pools, in case anybody didn't know that. I'm in the village of Bradford. We can come and use this pool too. The people in Mochi Creek can go over to the village of Bradford, such as Grove or wherever, and use that pool. We as villagers have all rights to all the amenities in every neighborhood. Now, speaking of that, now we're all outside of the pool area. Here's another sign. 
Welcome to Mulchick Creek Recreation and Postal, and it gives you the hours. It says enjoy at your own risk. All participants must have resident or guest ID plus photo ID. That's what it says in black and white. Those are the rules. That I'm, I'm not making that up. I'm simply reading what's on there, right, guys? You can see it too. And this is important. It's our responsibility to let everybody know this kind of stuff. You need to read. Guest under 19 years of age must be accompanied by someone 19 years of age or over or older. Proper attire required. The recreation equipment is available in the equipment room, which is going to be off into the pool right here. I'm not sure if I'm which door I'm pointing to. I think it's over here someplace where my finger is. I'm, yeah, I can't. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's like right in, right in here someplace. Where's my finger at? <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you guys, but you guys get the idea. That's where the equipment room is. Not hard to figure out. And also, these little icons, no bicycles in certain areas. You can walk a pet, no golf cart, no smoking. It amazes to me, I don't understand why people simply cannot follow the rules. I don't understand it for the life of me, I really don't. I guess I grew up in a time, well, most of us should have grew up in a time where following the rules was important. That's what we did. Because that makes everything cohesive and un there's a, it's a uniform code of behavior, if you will. If everybody follows the rules, it's for everybody's benefit. It just helps maintain the integrity of everything that we're paying for. If you're paying an amenities fee, you're paying for all of this stuff. Wow, putt-putt golfing. <laughs> no, that's not golf, guys. Bocce ball and shuffle boards. I walk through the grass. It says, do not walk on courts. Some people play these games. I, you know, honestly, I have never done it. And then you got cornhole over here. This is all part of your amenities fee. As a resident villager, you have all rights to use this. This is here for us to enjoy. For you, your family, guests, you know, your friends that you bring with you. They want us to use it. I'm gonna walk over here for a sec. A little sign right here. And honestly, I have no clue what that means. So that tells you right there, I don't play this game, so I really don't know much about it. We had a thunderstorm come in last night. Woke me up a few times during the night, kind of kept me up. I thought it was real bad, but it was enough to see lightning and thunder and just wake me you know and today it's nice and cool it is just absolutely gorgeous out it reminds me of california weather i say that because originally i am from southern cala southern california boy here living in florida i love florida it's a great state if you ask me 
Anyhow. We're going to walk over here just a little bit. Everybody already knows what a postal station looks like. You know, what I am noticing is that they didn't uh, add in, you know, like a walking trail or anything around there. Some places do. This is where you can come get your mail. All this right in here. So, you buy in the village of Moultrie Creek, this is going to be your neighborhood adult pool. If anybody asks you about the rules and all that and people want to argue, well, you've got it on film, people. you got the signs showing what the villages put here, not what Frank puts here.